Hey, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I know. Um, long time again. But everyone knows by now that I've been working on a rundown, which is a show that I created and that I've been working on for like a long ass time. But um we're we're not filming rundown right now, so I have time to get this review out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And today we're taking a look at the SH3 Arts Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man or the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Um, overall, I I really like the figure. This is actually my first ever uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure, which is a shock to a lot of people because literally everyone has the Toy Biz version or the um, the Rebel Tech version. But not me. This this is my first. This is my first ever uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure. Um, just a heads up. Like I'm just gonna get this out the way immediately. This figure is very short. Like, what I mean by uh, very short. Let's grab a Marvel Legends Captain America. Like he's he's that short. Yeah. So scaling, you're you're gonna have some issues. Um, I think the reason why they uh, made it this short is to scale with the Tom Holland SH figure arts because I did see photos of it, and they're uh, they are they are around the same height. And also, maybe maybe it's not all figures, but. Um, on the legs here, I don't know if you can see it, but like there's like a slight deformity. Maybe it's just mine, or maybe it's all of them. So I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> um, overall, the figure, I I like it. You no, know, being as though that's my first, it's my first figure of Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I don't really have that many complaints other than the height and you know the leg issue but that might just be mine hopefully um i can get a new one i'll, I'll just like hit hit the guys up and let them know like hey such and such uh leg is weird you gave me two left legs or two right legs if that makes sense um so yeah now we're gonna just jump into uh articulation all right for the head you can look up that far. And you know, it's SH figure art, so you can move both head and neck. With head and neck moving, you can look up that far, so you can kind of get the dive pose. Uh, head can look down that much. Can look even further down with the neck. You can go all the way around, but I'm just going to go side to side, just to be safe, because uh, I did not heat this figure up. Um, arms go up that far. Uh, the shoulders kind of like, they do this thing where you kind of like pull them out, like that. Uh, they go all the way around. You got double joint elbows. And you have a bicep swivel, which is good because I I was I'm not gonna lie, SH figure arts I was you guys were pissing me off with a no bicep swivel on your figures. Like I get it, it's your figure or whatever, but please, this this thing right here, this this is crucial to an action figure. This is very crucial. So please keep implementing that uh, system into your figures. And don't just be selective with it. Uh, the upper torso can turn that far. It can bend forward that much. It can bend backwards even further. Uh, the lower torso does not does not turn, but it can go forward that much 
and backwards only a little bit but with the top being able to go that far you can still oh my back you know uh, the legs kick out that far and they go back even further just like like the other figure arts uh, you have thigh swivel you have double jointed knees and you have some ankle articulation do you have ankle pivot no actually you don't oh wait nope my bad you do you got, you got good ankle pivot uh, you have a toe joint toe articulation and you also have like these thingies I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna call them uh, you got butt flaps, Spider-Man butt flaps. And from what I know about Spider-Man figures, you can kind of like if that makes sense. You can kind of like wiggle it outward. Maybe maybe you can't do it with this figure. Maybe maybe you can't. But I've seen other uh, Spider-Man figures. What I'm what I'm trying to say is like this this part right here you could kind of like extend it out and get some better range but no also um the leg go that far so you can he can split that much so yeah for so as far as articulation it's pretty much uh standard with SH figure arts. You know, nothing crazy, nothing like redesigned or re-engineered, anything like that. However, being as though that um that this figure is so short, I'm not sure if I will like. I'm not sure how I would uh pose this because it it's so small, you know. Like literally, this he he can he can lie down on my table and almost be the same size of it. It's it's not for me. It's I don't I don't really care that much because I always figure out a way to like make uh, characters look the same size, like using forced perspective and all of that. But I know for other people that like just pose and all of that. It, it might bother them, but for me, I'm, I'm rocking out with it because it's again my first ever uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure. Um, we looked at articulation already, so now we're gonna get into accessories. So for accessories, he comes with like the normal stuff a Spider-Man uh, figure from X-Men Three Worlds will come with, besides the new stuff. So the new stuff that we uh. Well, it's actually not even stuff. It's just like one thing. Um, the new thing that we get is this right here, which is the mask. That um, you know, like how they uh they pull off their mask and they just like hold it in their hand. Now, as far as the news goes, um, we were going to get one for the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. But I think something happened like with the licensing. Something must happen with uh with the licensing. So they ended up not being able to use his face. And thus we don't have as they figure it's Andrew Garfield head sculpt. I mean you can you can buy a third party, but it'd have been nice for it to come with the figure. Um we have a very long spider web. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even notice this, but um, it has like it has like some detailing in the scope, like it has like the coils. I mean, this this doesn't count. That's like him to hold it, but it has like the coils and all of that. So that's that's pretty neat, actually. And all of them except for um, except for these two short ones, they have like that little coil effect. 
Uh, so he has this very long leg. He has these very two like medium webs, and he has these ver two very very short webs. Uh, for the hands, he has the regular fist. He has the pointing fingers. He has a hand with two pointing fingers. He has uh, two web grabbing hands. He has two uh, mask holding hands, but you could also use those for like relaxed hands. That's that's what I would use them for as well. Um, you have two signature Spider-Man thwipping hands, and you have two open expression hands or wall curling hands. Uh, you have, as you can see, you have three different head sculpts. You have two uh, different neck designs um this one being the fully masked and the other one being the unmasked version so yeah and now that we took a look at all the accessories uh, we're gonna get more in detail about these head sculpts right here all right so for the mass head sculpt it's um keep in mind I just just take take my uh, my word for like a grain of salt but for the mass head sculpt I think I think it's very accurate only only because I barely like I was not paying that, paying that much attention uh, in Spider-Man No Way Home. Like I don't, I don't, I loosely remember it. So yeah, um, I will, I will put put up a picture right here. So yeah, I I like it. You know, like like I said, and like I kept mentioning before, just my first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure. So, I really have no no issue. Now we're gonna look at the uh, the unmasked head. Um, for the head sculpt, I think it it could be better. It really could be better, but they did a good job for what it is, you know. And for one thing that that really like just kept uh, getting to my mind, like the video game he looks more like the video game Peter Parker than the movie Peter Parker I mean he looks like the the one from No Way Home but it's just certain angles where he looks like the Peter Parker from the Spider-Man video games from the Sam Raimi video games so yeah and then we get our third head a smiling head we get a we get a smiling head so my my opinion about this um I uh I don't know I don't know for me, for me, what's not really doing it is that the hair is just like messed up. But overall, it's it's a good head sculpt. I just prefer it like didn't have like a messed up hair texture because I don't I don't know what that's for. I don't I don't remember from the movie if that was like that when he was smiling. Cause like in terms of like stop motion, I prefer it not be like this just to keep it consistent. So yeah, that's 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 just me. And now we're just gonna get into like the overall design and stuff like that about the figure. Alright, so the overall design of the figure is more I like it. Yeah, it's it's more like I have no problem with it. You know? Um however, I do wish they kinda like painted it better. Because I don't know if you can see, but like, it doesn't, you can't really, like on camera, the, um, the spider symbol pops out. 
and all that, but in person, like with the lighting and all of that, it, it's not, it's not painted that well. I mean, it, it's painted great. It's painted great. It's just not, uh, like you still, you still see like the red and stuff like that. It's like, it, it's, it's, a, it's honestly a personal issue for me. It might be different on other figures though. But um, other than that, it's it's good. Uh, do keep in mind though, <laughs> um, as I'm recording this, like I'm just now opening the box, so every everything's first first impression. So I don't really like I haven't got time with um, to mess around with the figure that much. But yeah, I like. I, I really I really like this figure because it's my first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Like I keep mentioning, but um, it's a it's a good figure. So now that uh we talked about the design, we're gonna get into how he scales, and you already know he is very short. So yeah. All right. So I feel like. It would have been obvious that uh, my first comparisons would have been with other Spider-Man figures. So here he is next to the Mafex Infinity War Iron Spider. Here he, and here he is next to the Mafex Avengers. Avengers, Jesus Christ, um, Amazing Spider-Man Two, Spider-Man. Um, as you can see, he does not. Yeah, like um, this Spider-Man figure and this Spider-Man figure are roughly around the same height, which for me is more like I wish he was a little bit taller. Um, I wish he was a baller. And yeah, I'm sorry, I had to. Um, I don't know. I just I just really wish. He was a uh, he was a bit taller, so he can scale well with um, Andrew here. Not not only that, but so but he he'll be able to scale good with Marvel Legends as well. Uh, here he is next to Marvel Legends Captain America. Yeah, you see what I mean? It doesn't like it. It's just off. You you would think you would think this was Tom Holland Spider-Man compared to this figure. Here. Here he is next to a Mafex Homelander. And now you now you can really like even with another Mafex, uh Yeah, he's still short. And last but not least, here he is next to it, uh, SH Figure Arts, Deadpool. And Deadpool is taller. So now you guys like kind of see where I'm coming from. So uh, yeah. I that's that's really the main issue with this figure. He's uh he's very short. He's very short. So like I said earlier, maybe they're doing it so he can scale well with the Tom Holland SA figure arts. Oh speaking of SA figure arts Tom Holland, one more uh, comparison.
here he is next to Tom Holland, Spider-Man from Far From Home. And uh, he he's actually taller. Like how it kind of should be. Oops. Like how it kind of should be. But, yeah. So, without the height being in the way, everything else really holds up for, uh, for this figure. And... Honestly, if if this figure was taller, I'd, I'd give it I'd give it a higher rating. But overall, I would give this figure either a nine out of ten or pretty much a ten out of ten, like without the height being an issue. So yeah, um, for articulation, I would give it. I mean, it's it's standard SA figure arts like the recent figures. So I would I would just keep it at a um, at a nine out of ten. You know, it could be better with some uh, with some parts. Uh, actually, those parts that I really prefer to be better is the arms. Like I want to be able to kind of go a little bit further up right here oh never mind never mind I, I can go further up my bad my bad actually for yours you get a 10 out of 10 <laughs> um so articulation is now at a 10 design I'm, I'm gonna give that a 10 as well because it's a, it's the closest thing I'll ever have to um, a SH figure where it's Tobey Maguire figure. Actually, it's the only thing I'll ever have. <laughs> um, size, I'm I'm gonna give that an eight. Not even an eight. No, I'm I'm gonna give that a six. I'm sorry. It, it's it's just the height is like now it's starting to bother me. But I know I know how to work my way around it when it comes to photos and stop motion. Uh, accessories. Uh, it's standard besides the um, the little mask ac accessory so it's gonna stay like at an 8 uh, hands that that's that's fine um, head sculpts actually let's let's pop that on This is this is what it looks like with the head on. You guys probably already seen dozens of photos or hundreds of them before my review, so you kind of you guys already kind of know what it looks like. But this is what it looks like with the head on, with the regular head. And also, I forgot to do the articulation for this head, but it, it is it is the same. It is the same. And now for the smiling head. That's how that looks. But again, my issue with the hair, I just wish they didn't do that. But that's just a personal issue, like as far as um in regarding to uh stop motion. Cause I like I like to keep it consistent. I don't want it to do that so yeah that's uh... yeah so this figure this figure gets a 9 out of 10 for me Every, literally the only thing that's holding it back that's holding it back is uh is the height so that's that's my only issue with it. Um, as far as animating this, because I know I know a lot of people that watch me do uh, stop motion animation. So my animation rating 
it, it would it would be a 10 out of 10. Like literally, if it's like this for me, out of box, you, you should be good animating it. But still recommend heating up your fingers just a little bit. So you don't uh, break anything. And I'm trying to see if we can get him to like Spider-Man like poses. You can. You can get him into Spider-Man like Pugus. I mean, yeah, you should be able to, but as far as the range, I'm I'm not sure. Like I said, I I did not heat up this figure, so I'm not gonna try to test my luck. So that's that's as far as I can get it without like doing uh, the heating method. So yeah, um, that that concludes my review on SH Figure Arts Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home. Just trying to get this guy up. Oh, well, I guess not. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if I sound tired, that's because I am. It's like 12 o'clock at night. And, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, speaking of, like, watching, I'm currently working on Avengers Infinity Quest Part 4. Which should be around, which should be here around late April. So, just look out for that. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day, a great day, and just just chill out, you know, just vibe out, live life. Oh yeah. Um, and would I would I say buy this figure? Yes, buy this figure. It, it's it's worth the money for like the design and articulation and all that. But if you're a person who um who values height maybe maybe it won't be for you <laughs>